Good morning. Uh, in this lighting talk, I'm going to uh, talk about LLVM office hours. So at the uh, developers meeting last year, uh, there was a survey for everyone attending, about 450 people uh, filled it in. Um, uh, and the question was, uh, what do you think uh, issues are that exist uh, that hinder you in, in being engaged with the community or uh, to contribute to the community? And the three top issues that came out of that were, uh, first of all, Sometimes people aren't receiving detailed enough feedback on their proposals. A second top issue is uh, people sometimes are worried to come across as an idiot when asking a question. And a third issue was uh, people cannot find where to start, where to find documentation, etc. There was also a workshop uh, on that topic at the previous dev meeting. Uh, one idea that uh, was discussed there of what could we do to try and overcome uh, these issues is the concept of office hours. So what is that? The idea is to have uh, people with some experience in LLVM to make themselves available for a chat, uh, um, specifically on, on a video call, so you can just dial in from anywhere in the world. Um, I believe the term comes from uh, the academic system, where at least in some countries, it, uh, the habit is that professors make themselves available on a specific time, uh, on a specific day in the week, so you can come with any question you have. Um, I personally think about it as a kind of ask me anything uh, on any topic related to LLVM. Um, it is an opportunity to talk one-to-one -one with other LLVM people without having to wait until the next dev meeting, like this one, or actually having to travel there, like it's uh, not always uh, possible to, to travel uh, to, to, the, to a dev meeting. Um, there are no stupid questions in these conversations, so the, anything goes there. And maybe you could also look at it as it might be a form of mentoring. Um, I do wonder, I've, I've heard people get a little bit confused about the term office hours, so if anyone does have a suggestion for a term that might work better, I'm all ears. So currently, uh, the existing hosts and when they host office hours is uh, on the web page under the, in the getting involved section. I took this screenshot uh, on Monday. We had five hosts then, since then. Uh, we have uh, Anastasia also added uh, uh, a slot, so now we have six. Um, and basically, it just lists who hosts, when, uh, how to get it onto the video chat, uh, which kind of topics people are generally interested in discussing. Uh, and I thought it might also be a good idea to, uh, to list the, the languages that the host speaks in case uh, people with different languages uh, want to get some information. The experience so far is that for hosts, it's very, very low cost to host. Um, you just open your video chat client and when no one else is there, you can just continue working at your desk. Uh, if someone does dial in, you will have a useful conversation. Um, the experience that the hosts have had so far is that very few people are dialing in. Um, probably that shouldn't be a surprise so far, since we didn't really advertise very much uh, the concept of office hours and their existence. Um, I was hesitant to advertise it very strongly while we ha only had a few hosts. It seems like we're getting uh, to, to critical mass now with, with six hosts. Um, and this afternoon, uh, I'll be holding a round table. So if you have ideas or would like to discuss or, or have suggestions for what improvements uh, to make further, please come. So how can you help? Uh, you could volunteer to be a host for an office hour. Uh, you don't necessarily need to have very deep expertise in a specific area. Uh, also, please don't be shy in actually calling in to an office hour. Uh, the hosts are 
really looking forward to having conversations. Uh, you could also help with advertising the existence of this uh, just through word of mouth. Uh, probably we should also start advertising this more uh, on this course. Uh, and we should uh, make it more visible on the homepage of the uh, LLVM website. Thank you very much.